Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to show you this one. It is my horse camp experience and I went on this horse camp um, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I'm just getting around to posting the video. Uh, but I just feel so blessed that I was able to go. If you guys didn't know, a lot of you actually helped me be able to pay for it by buying <laughs> clothes for me um, through Instagram. So I just want to say thank you so much. So this was a four-day horse camp up in Maui. It's located in Makawao, Maui, which is up the mountain a bit. And I will have information in the description in case you guys ever want to do it. It was such a fun experience. And you do have the option to stay overnight in a tent and um, sleep there. However, I decided because I live so close and it was a little bit cheaper that I would go home each night and um, be able to spend time with my husband every night and just shower and <laughs> unwind. So that was what I chose to do. I have been obsessed with horses since I was a little girl. I definitely go through phases of obsessions, but I've always loved horses and going horseback riding. I've never taken lessons before or really had much experience with horses. And so this camp was focused on emotional, just emotional connection with animals and having an emotional connection with your horse. There was a little bit of riding, which you guys will see, and we just learned some horsemanship things. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video and you'll see me in a little bit because I'm going to pop in and kind of explain some things as we go. Well, I have just arrived at the stables that the horse camp is going to be at. Such a beautiful drive up here. I don't really know how much talking I'll be doing, but maybe I'll get some behind the scenes footage if I can. And we'll see what we get up to today. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. How are we doing? <laughs> okay, we got assigned our horses. This is mine. Her name is Cloud. She's a mama. She's had six to nine babies. I have no idea what I'm doing. Rose illuminate. Will you lament the paths you did not take? Or will you find the truth that we made? Mm. And he's moving forward, and I'm trying to get him back into a trot. It's a perfect trot. 
because it's very rhythmical. It's a two beat pace and it helps the horse settle if you're really pushing there for him to look. And I asked a little earlier, there's the figure eight flying lead change. Bend down a little like a predator, I swing my rope and I move his hip away from predator. And now he's moving. Now he's pretty relaxed about everything we're doing. He's like, oh, okay, this is cool. She's the leader. We move here, we move there, I got this. Pretty basic, pretty easy. So these are things that you can do with your horse. We'll all do it as a group if you want. You need to go like really up far over here, and then it'll like fall down eventually. Yeah, she, no one really does this high up, but her saddle falls back a lot, so. We're getting to ride soon. I don't know if I've introduced you. This is my horse, so we each get assigned a horse for the entire camp, and mine's name is Cloud. And I braided her hair earlier. We just saddled her. You're sweet. I just wanted to give you a little recap of my day two. Day one was our shorter day because we didn't arrive until I think 2 or 3 p.m. So that day we just got to meet our horses. We got to see all the animals. We groomed them and we learned a little bit about the round pen. And on day two, we actually got to ride our horses for the first time and it was so much fun. So we actually didn't do any trail riding. We all were in that barn and just going, um, around the perimeter perimeter of the barn so that you know the teacher could have eyes on us at all times and then she would bring um one person into the round pin at a time to see if we wanted to try to trot or just get used to going in a circle with the horse so it was a really fun experience i got to feel like you know and learn how to navigate the horse how to saddle the horse and it was just a really good bonding experience to get to know my horse which was cloud more so she had us all round pen our horses before we got on them because it's important for the horse to know that you are the leader and so the round pin helps with that so when we started riding you could notice um, some horses that were not listening and that's because they still felt dominant they still felt like the leader and so that was a really cool lesson to learn throughout it cloud was amazing <laughs> i may have also had an easy horse she is a little bit more um she likes to be the leader because she's a mom and so she doesn't take you know she's not messing around so some things i noticed that she didn't want to like submit to them but when it came to riding, she was really easy to ride and it was super enjoyable. I will say my knees hurt so bad and I was not expecting it. I do have kind of like more fragile knees. Um, and the first, um, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes I was on the horse, my stirrups were a bit too high and I just had a really bad knee pain. So I made sure the next day that I brought my CBD balm. This is the one I use. It's from Equilibria. I've been using their products for about a year now and I would just rub this on my knees before I got on, after I got on, and when I got home and they felt a lot better. And then I would also take the daily drops each day. I mean the cool thing about CBD is it just goes to whatever your body needs and I think it's so cool that it can communicate that. So I was taking these every day and then as well as their calming melts at night. Those are these little mints, so I would just take these before bed. And this trio just like really helped me stay relaxed and help my body recover throughout the week because it was like a lot of time on my feet, which I'm not used to working from home. So if you guys have been looking for CBD products, I highly recommend Equilibria. I've been using them for over a year. As I said, the quality is just unbeatable and you can use my code to get 15% off site-wide. And they're also lowering their prices, so you can now get 
25% off when you subscribe and my code is stackable so you can use it on top of that so i'll have all the other information linked in the description for you guys but let's get in to day three of horse camp good morning it is our third day cloud do you want to say hello we start our day by grooming the horses i'm gonna braid her hair One, two, three. Mm. These feelings confessing is the last thing that I wanted to do I know I can't be crushing on a girl who can't be here for long So I told myself I should just stay away But these lyrics keep coming out I don't think I can stop it now I wonder if they'll get to you one day But I'll sing these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way just wait and see They'll come for sure to shine To look you in your eyes I swear that I'm not lying Cause I knew it's true from the first time we met I'm so in love with Everything you say and all the doodles that you post And every time you sing a song The people crowd a little closer to you all right we just did some training with the ropes i forgot what they're called already and now we're gonna head down there with our horses you ready girl because you won't be here for very long and there's no way i could ever make you stay but at least i write this song for you because i don't know what else i can do and i'm hoping that for you it's okay if i sing these words i'll never say because that's the only way for me to say those words just wait and see they'll come for sure to shine to look you in your eyes i swear that i'm not lying cause i knew it's true from the first time we met i'm so in love with time flies way too fast i've tried to make it last but you fly We're also doing a showcase today, which means we have to pick something that we learned this weekend and then Kyle and then other people's like parents or family will be able to show. Everyone gets to show something that they learned. So I think I want to do some trotting if I can. 
so funny. <laughs> we are getting ready for a little showcase. Basically like a little show and tell for our family. I am going to get Cloud all saddled up. I decided to do a trot for mine. And hopefully Kyle will be able to get that on video so you guys can see it as well. We did pretty good yesterday, but I'm not going to have any time to ride her before the showcase. So just going to warm her up in the round pin beforehand. Um, yeah, hopefully it goes well. I'm trying to keep my energy nice and calm because it really rubs off on the horse how you're feeling. They can feel it. Right, cloudy girl. All right, did her braids. This is my signature style. You're so sweet. Three, two, one. Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Chewing on the reins. Uh, yeah. A regular cowgirl. Mm -hmm. A dinner cowgirl. <laughs> you are all ready to go. I'm going second. Today. Are you all ready to go? Yes, so. <laughs> Looking good, babe. You take a picture of me, buddy. Yeah. I just want to encourage you if you had a childhood dream that you never got to fulfill do it I'm 27 and I was nervous that I was just gonna be like the only adult there but there was actually a mother and her son there was another girl my age there was a few um, preteens or early teenagers and then there were some young girls who I think were like seven and eight and it was just so fun to do it with all of them and like see these young girls just like living out kind of like what I dreamed of when I was younger so I would highly recommend just whatever your childhood dream is try to take a class whether it's like ballet or horse camp or yeah whatever it is just do it <laughs> 